Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new episode of Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. We are back and I prepared a small rocket, a very small and very humble one. We take faster because you must be stupid if you want to arm this. You already can see that we have 11 stages and I slowly go down. Oh yes. Oh yes, this stage was not enough and I needed more secureness in them, so I had just another couple of liquid ones, small ones, less weight, more power. This should bring us further up into the orbit, I hope, as soon as the ones down below here are gone. And I also want to try out those decouplers. Let's launch this sucker, shall we? <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I have a bad feeling about the... about those things which keep us straight, actually. Which is amazing. It's just the upper part which is fairly wiggling. So let's throttle up just a little bit. So it is start to burn. Oh, wait. Whew. Okay, start to burn. Hit them. Three. Two, are we floating? We're totally floating. Three, two, one. Actually, let's speed up. Three, two, one. This was a failure. Okay, let's see if we can let's separate the stage. Let's get away. Throttle down. SAS off. Okay. Ah. Uh, Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so multiple things. Number A, um, the rockets which I have chosen are not good. Not enough powerful, they, they don't give us enough gain in terms of speed. Um, other things, this was a terrible launch. <laughs> You're still flying. Let's slow down just a little bit. Whew. This was really bad. We are six minutes in, we can do another start. I will do a small adjustment. It was not too bad in the beginning, actually. As soon as we went through the atmosphere, it went terribly. And I think I know why. I think I know why. We splash down. Um, can you? Fetch me some results. Oh, and some water. Store experiments. Grab on. Oops. Okay, we need to recover the vessel later on. Let's go and fetch the vessel. Seventeen. Because of the water, majorly. Okay. We have a lot of debris. A lot of debris which we can't actually fetch. Ah, from the Mark 6 we have some as well. Let's get them. Let's go back to the drawing board, I guess. Yeah, one more launch. One more launch. This will be my final launch for today, and then we shall do something else. Find some sleep for a change. Okay, I know exactly what happened. Um, you happened. Bye bye. Also, those are just not strong enough. Problem being, I can't really put those down below, or can I? Oh, I could, but. That feels a bit cheaty because I'm basically abusing this. Hmm. What can I do? What can I do? Looks like I need to take those apart. Whew. Yeah, let's do this really quick. Or can I put you further up?
Yeah, let's make it double stable and clean our... Oops. Okay, just a little bit. Nope. Nope. This will end bad, my friends. I'm afraid that the weight of those are way too much. That we will not even be able to start. I give it a shot. I will give it a shot. Keep in mind that an earlier version of this rocket has been able to go to space. So I'm kind of willing to make an exception here and say like, okay, so earlier version made it, uh, let's skip this model and go to another one. Because if we can't succeed with this one, I have an alternative in mind, which we could eventually use. Shoot. Okay, you're lost. Let's just strip them real quick. rather attach them all. This was a mistake. Ooh. Careful when you handle those parts. Always in motion the rocket is. And there we go. Let it strap those, yes, yes. Okay. It is kind of still the Mark VI design. That's more of a lockbook than something else. And I totally pointed on the screen, even if you can't see it. 14 minutes in. If this will be successful, <laughs> then we might have a problem with the length of the episode. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, we're standing. We launch in 3, 2, 1. Did I do this right? Whoa, this was close. That was a close call. Totally not. Um, this was a very close call.
So lucky that you can edit the stages whilst still on the ground. Okay, those first, then Then you decouple those. Then we launch this one. Then we decouple those and those. So you can come here. Then we launch those. Yes. Decouple. Yes. Close call, ladies and gentlemen. And we shall launch in three, two, one. Not good. Not good at all. Still rising, which is good. Let's adjust back to this point. Uh. Okay, let's go up. We are not at a height in which we want to do such a burn. Absolutely not, and we are losing altitude. <sighs> this didn't work, not at all. Ladies and gentlemen, I call this design quit. This design is not sustainable, neither is it possible to go to the moon with it. So I will actually cut those. So I will take this loss. And what I will do uh, 
is going back to Kerbal. I bring down this pot real quick. That is where we started. Uh, sorry for this dark episode, it's night time, obviously. Uh, I can't make... I could eventually change the gamma settings, make it a little bit brighter. But, yeah. So, the previous design has been able to go into space. This is good. I have a design in mind which I would like to <laughs> test out. I didn't pay attention to the height. We have lost the pilot and we feel sorry for this. Back to space center. With this loss, ladies and gentlemen, and this not very successful and slightly frustrating episode, we shall head back to the drawing boards and I will come up with a completely new design which will not have any solid rocket fuel boosters because I believe they caused some of the troubles which we had in order to get into space because without them we have been able to go into space I will see how I can I will basically want to go for a different design going away from how we have it right now and we shall see us next time Bye!